My Reference Library An early piece of advice I received as an illustrator was, build yourself a good reference library. I then wondered how that would happen. How would I know what I might need? What books should I acquire, bird books, technical books, boat books, or anatomy books? In the end, I let it go and thought it would sort itself out over time. Fortunately, over the years, I developed a deep interest in books that led me to many antiquarian bookshops and flea markets. Over the years, in this way, often for a cheap price, I have collected books on various subjects. Some books I have bought solely because the book itself was nice, which then turned out to be useful in some assignments. Today, I realize that I own a fairly broad reference library where I can often find what I am looking for before an assignment. Today, I am going to paint a blackbird for the upcoming book about Alibin by Asaud. Then I can bring out all my bird books and get a good idea of how I should proceed to get the right shade and character of the bird. Of course, I also use the internet, but sometimes books are better. More accurately, books are always better. There are many paths to take when illustrating. Of course, I could settle for painting a blackbird with a yellow beak and hope that the person seeing the picture understands that it is a blackbird. But that's not my way of working. Firstly, I see the value in the blackbird in the picture really looking like a blackbird and not just any blackbird. I want to believe that the book will be better that way. Secondly, the character study of the bird makes my work so much more interesting and enjoyable. I see great value in allowing myself to work in this way, even if it means a little extra work and probably won't be noticed by everyone who sees the picture. The value lies mainly in knowing that I have done my best and that I get to use my fun side interests alongside image creation. And speaking of important details, I wondered how I could show that the environment in the picture with the blackbird is a botanical garden and not just any park. In the end, I figured it out, in a botanical garden, there are always signs here and there informing about the tree's Latin names and their origin. I drew in a few slanted, white signs, and presto, it was a botanical garden. It can be that easy sometimes. Matthias is an author, editor, and illustrator. We hope you liked this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.